Hey everyone, it's Flagfire. If you're wondering why I sound a bit different, I'm on the road for Gamescom in Cologne, Germany, and very excited to show you guys some of the new stuff coming to Battlefield 1. But today, we're looking at some new skins on the Battlefield 1 CTE. You might remember the Houtier weapon skin for the MP18 that was available earlier again this year as part of Battlefest 2017. It's a pretty cool skin with the letters PTFO etched on the stock. And well, it seems DICE is going to add a few more of these skins to Battlefield 1. On the community test environment for PC, three more PTFO skins have sprung up for the Shea Brigati, the Lewis Gun, and the SMLE. The skin names are pretty tongue-in-cheek and directly reference historical figures who exemplified a focus on the particular class objectives. The skin for the Shea Brigati is called the Kirkpatrick, likely a reference to Private John Simpson Kirkpatrick, the famed Australian stretcher-bearer who was killed on the beaches of Gallipoli in 1915. He was well known for using donkeys to transport the wounded. As the Shea Regatti is a medic weapon, the name seems appropriate given Simpson's selfless actions. The new PTFO skins generally mirror the Houtier skin in appearance, but the Kirkpatrick has a small skeleton on the side, which is a rather unique touch. The skin for the Lewis gun is called the Yells, undoubtedly named after Sergeant Charles Reginald Yells, an Australian who served with distinction alongside T.E. Lawrence in the Middle East. In addition to training Lawrence's men in the use of the Lewis gun, Yells played a major role in a raid on a Turkish railway station at Mudawara in 1917. He accounted for 30 to 40 Turkish soldiers with his Lewis gun, earning him the Distinguished Conduct Medal and the nickname Lewis. Lastly, the Pegamagabo skin for the SMLE is named after Francis Pegamagabo, the most successful sniper of World War I. Pegamagabo was a First Nation soldier serving with the Canadian Expeditionary Force and is credited with killing 378 German soldiers, though that figure only includes his confirmed kills. Although the Pegamagabo skin is for the SMLE, he actually used the Ross rifle, which is yet to be added to Battlefield 1. The Great War Channel has an excellent video on Pegamagabo, which I'll link to in the video description. All three of the new skins are named after British colonial soldiers. I love when DICE sneaks in little historical references into Battlefield 1, and if you're interested in learning more about the names of some more Battlefield 1 skins, check out the Skin Deep series here on this channel. Aside from what they look like, there isn't actually much else we know about the new PTFO skins. While they were available in the CTE, there is no word on when we'll be able to unlock them in Vanilla Battlefield 1 or how. In the past, the Houtier skin was awarded for completing a community mission, so it's likely DICE has something similar in mind for these new skins. What are your thoughts on the new PTFO skins? Tell me in the comments. I'll be sure to keep you up to date regarding everything Battlefield 1, so if you enjoyed this video, leave a like and subscribe. If you want to help me out, sharing on social media like Twitter really does go a long way. I'm at Gamescom all week, and I'm looking forward to bringing you new videos on all the exciting Battlefield 1 announcements. To take your Battlefield 1 game to the next level, check out the Battlefield 1 Ultimate Utility app with a link in the video description. Thanks for watching.